Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm Eric Sue, And I'm Neil Patel. And today we are going to talk about our favorite Google Analytics hacks that actually help you grow. So I'll kick things off right here. So what I really like, especially on my mobile device right now, or you, you can even do this on desktop, is you can use this thing called Google Intelligence and think of it as your Siri or your Alexa, right? You can ask specific questions like, what were my top pages in the last month? Or, you know, what were my highest converting pages in the last month? You can start to ask these questions to Google Analytics Intelligence, and that's going to make your life a lot easier. So you don't have to dig through analytics. You don't have to learn analytics. You don't have to get a certification or anything. Just be lazy. Ask these questions. And it's getting better and better each and every day as, you know, I'm sure, you know, they, they've applied machine learning to these things to, to make things easier for people that are trying to make the most of analytics. Yeah. The other thing that I like doing is when I'm in my analytics, you'll notice the little tab and button that says all users. I like clicking on them and creating segments. So I'll create segments for each different type of traffic source, organic, like Google organic being, you know, I also do it based off of countries and regions. That helps me dissect my data because when you're in Google Analytics, it's really hard. Like when you look at the conversion numbers or goals, you'll be like, oh, okay, I got this many and here's the terms they came from or here's the sources. But it's really hard to figure out how to use that data to grow even more. But when you start creating segments, you can then be like, okay, I know most of my revenue is coming from the United States. Let me just look at the United States because 50% of my traffic's outside of it. If you don't service outside, who cares about the other traffic? So you want to segment and then you want to dissect the data within that region. It'll help you make more informed decisions. That way you're not being like, oh yeah, you know, we're getting all these emails and leads from Facebook. Well, if none of them are converting into customers because they're not from the United States, then it's not that effective. Maybe you have to fine tune your ads and change it into the United States. But by creating the segments, it'll help you fine tune your marketing decisions. Yeah. One thing I'll add is make sure that you're hooking in your Google search console and your Google AdWords with your analytics. That way you're combining the data together. That makes your, that's going to make your life a lot easier. And the other thing you can do when it comes to uh, Google analytics is think about, okay, so actually, I mean, I want to talk about some of the segments Neil was talking about, right? So Avinash Kaushik, you can check out his blog. I believe it's Kaushik.net. So that's, um, and I'm pronouncing his last name wrong, but it's K A U S. H-I-K, I believe, dot net. He's got a lot of advanced segments in there that you can just kind of duplicate. And I, I believe also there's a lot of templates in terms of reporting, custom reports that you can pull together. And, and you can actually go to a template section inside of GA um, that people are sharing. And then just take those templates, right? People have spent the time building these reports. So why do you have to go out there and reinvent the wheel? You don't. It's already out there. It's easy for you to do. Just integrating things and then using people's templates and then using people's advanced segments that's going to make your life a lot easier. Yeah, um, there's this article that is on Medium that ends up breaking down like step by step on how to actually do quite a few hacks. And one thing that I really love looking at is how fast my website is loading. So everyone's just like, oh, you need to supercharge your site. It takes forever to load and they can see that data in Google Analytics. But what I really like doing is I base my decisions, not what users are telling me, but more so what I'm seeing in analytics. So like, I just won't use Google page speed. I'll go into analytics and see what pages load. So so instead of just optimizing your total site for page speed, you need to look at your most popular pages and then you can see the load time per page and within GA and then go and optimize your most popular ones. Make sure they load fast and that will really help boost your conversions. Uh, Amazon had some study that shows something like for every second your site loads slower, like you lose conversions by 1%. It was something like that. But speed hacks are really important. And just trying to make your whole site faster in general, what you'll find is that doesn't necessarily increase your revenue that much. You have to find the most popular pages and the load time for those pages and first focus on improving those specific ones. Great. The final thing I'll add from my end is utilizing Google Tag Manager too, right? When you connect Google Tag Manager analytics together, you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. So here's an example. You can do scroll depth, kind of add that kind of level of reporting 
to Google Analytics. So when you go into a reporting section in GA, you can see how many people scroll to 25% of your content, 50% of your content, 75%, 100% of your content, right? That way you can see how engaged people are and you can decide from there what kind of decisions you need to make around your content marketing because then you can start to be smart. You have the data, the data informs you and it can help you drive decisions, right? There's a lot of good, um, I recommend a YouTube channel out there. I think it's called GTM School. He has a lot of different hacks that you can do around Google Tag Manager and then which ties it to Google Analytics as well. If you're a content marketer like Eric and I are, there's something called content groups within GA. So one thing I like doing, and you'll notice there's an option right in your admin area for content grouping. You can set up content grouping so you can figure out how specific content's doing versus other topics. A lot of people are being like, oh, this post is amazing and it did well, or this page did amazing and it did well. When you're doing content marketing in quantity, a lot of times it is a hit or miss game. So you want to start analyzing topics and trends and seeing what's doing well. But by grouping your content, you can end up seeing, oh, all my SEO stuff does this and my social media stuff does this. And then my content marketing topics does this other thing. And you can compare the stats and data by using content grouping. You'll be able to better analyze and be like, all right, this is what I should focus on to get the most traffic, most conversions, most sales. And when you're analyzing your data in GA, you don't want to just look at last touch. So what caused a conversion? You also want to look at entry source to see what brought someone in before they convert. I found that what brings people in before they convert is content marketing, like my blog posts. But what tends to cause them to convert is coming back to the site, reading content a few times or watching a video. And then finally, they'll go to the website directly and then convert. But they first found it usually through social media or Google. They land on a blog post, they read it, they come back from, let's say, email collection, and eventually they convert 30 or 60 days later into a lead. Great. So that's it for today. And if you want to check out our giveaway, just go to singlegrain.com slash giveaway to learn more. And we will see you tomorrow. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.